Alan Wake's coming back, isn't it? Huh. Ooh. Ooh. Pretty bright light. Hi guys, how you doing? My name is Codename Big Barrel Stewart. If you want to call me by my first name, welcome to the Bears Den. Uh, today I'm going to talk about my excitement for Alan Wake 2. In the last video you may have seen last week or the week before, whenever it was, I don't know when. I did a list of, well, basically, say I'm filming it the same day at least. Um, I did a list of video games that were... Basically, the, if you spell Stuart, S-T-U-A-R-T, there were video games with using the first letter of the game to spell out my name. Um, <clears throat> and the letter A on that one was Alan Wake, and during that part, during that part, I kind of lost my shit. I have calmed down a bit, I've had a little bit of a breather, uh, <laughs> and yeah, I am super excited for Alan Wake 2, and I actually haven't spoken about it yet. Um, I'm going to do an, a proper Alan Wake special at some point, again, where I follow up, you know, from a couple of years ago now, or last year, where I spoke about Alan Wake for the first time and gave it the 10 out of 10 that I gave it, and I, I'll, you know, I'll talk about American Nightmare properly, and the remaster, and what I think might be happening in the Alan Wake verse, and Remedy verse in general, uh, but right now, I just kind of want to talk to you about Alan Wake 2, and just kind of my feelings towards it in general. This won't be a long video, hopefully not too long anyway. Um, but yeah, Alamy 2 is coming out, and yeah, seriously, I, I, I fucking lost it. I, I just, I was there uh, the morning, or the morning after the announcement for it, um, at whatever Gamescom, whatever it was. I get a message from Will, who is one of our writers here at uh, Respawning. Uh, you see his articles on the website. Um, he sent me, <laughs> he sent me a message and said, and I quote, I can hear your erection happening from here. <laughs> he lives like in Exeter or Plymouth or some place. I live in, I live in Newport, I live in Wales, over 100 miles away. And I read that and I was like, what? Click on this link he sent me and, uh, I mean, I watched it three times in a row. I had to, I, Alan Wake is finally getting a sequel. I, I, I lost it, I was so, ecstatic i was lying in bed watching this woke up the first thing i did is watch this and yes oh so excited i mean i've watched a few videos since uh you know kind of the evolution of alan wake 2 and how it's gone from what sam lake and the remedy team uh originally uh wanted for it and to what it has become now and how it's gone from an action thriller uh to a survival horror that's got me so intrigued. Survival horror. But what does this mean for the general story of Alan Wake? Because when we last met him, really, was um, was Control, uh, which is something I haven't got around to playing it, and it's driving me nuts because I really haven't got around to it. But basically, the reason I haven't got around to it is because I was playing on a PS4, and then my PS4 died, and I got over halfway through the game, and all of my progress had gone because my PS4 had died and perished and I couldn't play it again until I got my PS5. I've got my PS5 and I just haven't played Control since. So I haven't got around to playing the AWE uh, DLC. So I don't actually know where Alan is at the moment. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, all I know is that basically was like, oh, but there's got to be a sequel coming right here. Yeah, he's been locked in the darkness for 10 years, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, yeah, fine. That's fine. But from my perspective right now, the last place I saw him was American Nightmare. And American Nightmare is a spin-off within the Alan Wake universe. It's not technically canon, but it is canon at the same time. It's a weird, uh, it's a weird little game. It's a great game. I actually really enjoy it. Um, but it's a weird little game. Uh, basically, Alan is fighting off Mr. Scratch, which is a character I really hope actually fully makes an appearance again within Alan Wake 2 as this survival horror baddie. Um, you know, it makes a proper appearance, we get some kind of build up from it. And again, from what I have seen of the AWE thing, we do see two Allens. So, maybe. 
maybe we might actually get something there um and also as well from what you see in like quantum break and stuff the way they kind of portray the story mr scratch is definitely gonna definitely gonna be making some kind of impact here as well um i'm just very excited about it the whole uh alan has his own little clearly built battery pack torch thing um to kind of guide, guide his way through stuff reminds me very much of alone in the dark uh even the uh, even the 2008 Lone and Dark, um, which is a game that I think is very underrated. Um, I will be doing a comparison video uh, to Alan Wake and Alone and Dark at some point. Um, but yeah, so Alan Wake 2 is coming out and it's going to be the survival horror. And do I think that's a good idea? Yes, I absolutely do. Uh, I've, been, I've been screwing for a, a, a survival horror that will grip me. And this one is going to do it. Uh, I quite enjoyed Evil Within. I enjoy Resident Evil, but I haven't played any of the new Resident Evils. I haven't played Resident Evil 7, for instance. I haven't played Resident Evil 8. I haven't played Resident Evil 2 Remake, 3 Remake. Uh, Code Veronica has just been announced as a remake as well. Oh, I need to catch up on them. Um, Death Space is going to be remade as well. And yeah, there's, there's just lots of stuff kind of happening there. And I love horror games, but I just haven't got, I just haven't got the patience for them at the moment. Uh, but Alan Wake is going to grab me right back in. I mean, things I, I, I would love to see in Alan Wake 2 is, one, um, there's, there's, there's more enemy variety. You know, some of the enemies they brought in for the American Nightmare that you guys have split up uh, when they get hit by light initially. We've got smaller, faster creatures. Really cool. Larger, larger, larger characters would be good as well. Um, I would like to see... So from what I can guess is going to be happening, this Alan Wake 2 is either going to be the build-up towards him finally escaping the darkness and jesse saving him so it'll be a prequel to the awe uh awe stuff or it's gonna be set afterwards that he's gonna be in a real world and we're gonna find out more about his major influence on the remedy verse as a whole because alan has a lot of influence on it as far as i'm concerned Alan either created, and this is not just my own theory, Alan either created Bright Balls before it even, like, well, after he got there, he created it and retrospectively kind of built on what was already there. He kind of made it what it was. Like, Bright Balls existed, and he made the quirkiness and the weirdness about it happen through his book that he'd written that had retroactively uh, kind of made certain things happen that way. Or... Thomas Zane uh, wrote him into existence and my theory is that Alan is actually Thomas Zane and we just don't know it yet no, so so <laughs> it's, it's basically I need answers I need answers there's lots of, like that kind of theory is something I want to talk about a lot uh, with somebody else bouncing off me so I can actually kind of discuss it properly because they're just going to come off and rant as an absolute lunatic. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, I think that Alan is Thomas Zane. I think Thomas Zane wrote himself as Alan Wake into a story set in the future for him, or at the time, at least, anyway, the 70s, uh, that he was, you know, a young boy that got received the clicker and blah, 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 and he gets all this, and that's the reason why everyone's all like... You look a lot like Tom, you know, or hey, I'm going to call you directly Tom. You know, like the Andersons do, for instance. They call him Tom. And I've watched a lot of videos on Alan Wake, and lots of people going, ah, oh, you know, they never think about he is actually Thomas Zane. They always say, oh, no, he, Thomas Zane created him. Like, yeah, fine, I, I'm with you on that one as well, but I am down with he is actually Thomas Zane. And Thomas Zane has just written him into existence as a new Thomas Zane, that is not, like, yeah, anyway, <laughs> I, I need someone to talk to about this, so I really, really do, uh, but Alan Wake 2 is coming out, and I am so excited, I cannot wait for it, like, to the point that I am going to be starting this uh, podcast very, very shortly, I'm going to be starting a proper video setup. up, um, annoyingly, I just had, like, 10 days of isolation, and I should have contacted Luke in that time, and just got some done but i was not alone in isolation i was with my other half and i get very embarrassed doing stuff like this when she's around um because you know she can hear me and it just bothers me how geeky i can be sometimes uh, <laughs> just she makes fun of me sometimes and it's nothing mean nothing mean at all um you know it's just kind of like i can hear you 
you sound like an idiot. I was like, I know, I do. Yeah, it's great. I, I absolutely do. It's like, you're so fucking nerdy. I was like, yes, I am. I am. And she's the same with other things as well. Like, she, you hear her talk about Lara Croft, and it's just, it, it's cute. It's really cute. We, that's how we react. But, you know, I do get embarrassed to, doing, to, doing this kind of thing. Um, uh, when somebody else is kind of just in the other room, and they could hear potentially what I'm doing. Because even though I'm not embarrassed to put it out there for you guys to see, uh, I am <laughs> just the initial uh, person doing it. Uh, if I had a script of stuff and there was somebody actually here with me in the room, wouldn't have a problem at all. But someone in the next room, yeah, that's when it can be a little bit awkward. Anyway, um, I've rambled on there. But guys, um, this, this isn't really much of a video, to be honest. Um, hmm. Well, we'll see. Uh, it's not really much of a video, uh, but if you did like it, kind of have you, if I said something intrigued you, Put it in the comments and be like, yo, what the hell are you talking about there? Please explain some more. Then I will. I will go into it some more. Um, but just on a quick thing as well, podcast, the reason I've just kind of spoken about that is because I do have books. I have Alan Wake books. I have Alan Wake art books. I have some books on the way. Uh, I have strategy guides. I have loads of stuff to go through to kind of mix in with the lore and talk about it and kind of extrapolate things uh, to do with the Remedyverse and that's kind of one of the things I want to get into as much as I can because one it's really interesting to me about how the, these guys, Sam Lake and the Remedy team, have built this world and kind of made this universe happen. Uh, so yeah, I'm interested, I want to delve deep into it as much as I possibly can with somebody who is also interested in it. I am very much the Alan Wake side of things. Luke is very much the control side of things. We will also be talking about Quantum Break as well, because personally, I think it's part of the Remedyverse. Max Payne is partly there as well. Luke has some theories on that, and I agree with him, to be fair. Um, and we also want to deal with, you know, what is and isn't uh, canon, and how we can go from that as well. Uh, but guys, yeah, like I said, like, share, subscribe. If you can put a comment down below, kind of what we we'll talk about, uh, that'd be great. Um, it's just something quick, like I say, I'm just trying to get a few videos out there so we can actually do something as well. But guys, thank you very much. Have a, have a great day. We'll see you around, alright? Just don't forget to be nice to each other. <laughs> I don't know, I've got my own sign off. Woo!